There you go. Hey guys, this is Slippery Pete Lozo. We're here with Mark from Denmark Bros. Gonna be uh, reviewing this fine little beer that uh, Mark brought back. Mark and Julie and Matthew, of course, from Castleman. It's called a Handcar Group Ale. So it's supposed to be very uh, fruity. Mark can explain more because he knows yeah, more about it. It's uh, their first batch that they tried out. Uh, the Gruit is actually orange peel with saffron and uh, yeast. That's apparently the Dear. old method of uh, creating beer. Daddy. Back then they didn't realize that hops and malt and stuff like that would give the flavor of the beer. So they just fermented the uh, orange peels with yeast. The yeast will actually convert the sugars into uh, alcohol. So that's what's bring, what brings the alcohol into the beer. It's a 5% beer from a Castle Brew. So there you go. I'm going to her out. Yep. Pop her open. Can you smell that already? Right? Yeah, nice little smoke. Oh, I can't smell it already. Oh, look at that. It's it's filled to the brim. Yep. Right on. It smells pretty much just like an IPA. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that smells good though. Yeah, that smells very good. All right. Why don't you do the honors, of course? Pouring it out. There we go. Nice little, uh, was it the Budweiser one? Yeah, it's the Budweiser one. It's Budweiser. No fingerprints this time. <laughs> Oh, look on that. That looks like a nice, uh, a nice golden. Gold, yeah. Yeah. That looks like very nice. I made sure that uh, it didn't pour too much head. Yeah. But we could. Uh, yeah, try to see if it does produce. Yeah. It has a fairly nice head. Yeah, it's very, uh, very cloudy. Eh? The head goes away pretty fast. Mm. The. Oh, yeah, it's really cloudy. Yeah. But you can see a lot of carbonation in there. A lot of carbonation. Holy smokes. Yep. Wow. There's a bit of sediment. Yeah. The smell? Oh, wow. Yeah, don't don't smell different than the... Yeah. the... You smell a little bit of citrus, but not overpowering like the flying monkey. I, have, the... I actually smell a lot of actual orange. Not the peel, but the orange. You know what? You're right. The juice. Yep, yeah, you're right. Like a tangerine or a... It's not an overpowering, it's not a, a bitter smell, eh? Yeah. Yep, yeah, it's really interesting. Can't wait to smell or taste the uh, the saffron. Yeah. I was expecting the saffron to turn it a little bit more pinkish. Yeah. yeah. Alright, here okay. it goes. Cheers. That's different. That, is that what saffron tastes like? I never tasted the saffron to be honest, so I'd be lying if I say yes, but it's a different, different taste yeah. it? compared to all the other IPAs. You don't get any bitter aftertaste. You don't get the bitter taste in the beer. Yep. But there's no aftertaste. So I like this. Oh yeah, I like that. Like, there's no la laggering. You know, all the other IPAs, you'd yeah. stay there, and you're like, ah, oh, come on, on out. This disappears right away. I get a little bit of actual lemon. Yeah, it's a lemon taste to it. Yep. And it's watered down, eh? Like I feel like saying it's like a beer, but it's not a, a strong hop beer. Like you're saying, I don't think you're yeah. saying it has no hops in this. Eh? You're saying it's nope, like zero hops. No, it's just yeast and uh, fermented orange peels. Wow, eh? You don't. All, you also don't get the. Um, the fizziness of beer, yeah. There is a lot of carbonation, but you don't get that beer fizziness. Mm. That um, once it goes around your tongue, it, it froths. Yeah, you don't get that. Nope. I like this. It's really not bad. Yep. Yeah. So, what would you say? What would you rate this, Mark? Now it's hard to say. It, it, <laughs> we're rate, like we're rating it against beer. Yeah. This is really the old-fashioned style beer. Um, yeah, this is good. And it's just room temperature, I think, hey, this? this? A little bit, a little bit cooler, yeah, yeah, close to it, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to drink it too cold. No. Nope. It brings out the bitterness. And I it's 5%, actually, eh, Mark? 5% alcohol, percent beer, yeah. just so people know, yeah. 5%. I'm going to give this a 7.75, 7 three quarters. Yeah. It's not quite 8, Yeah. but... The eight is more of the stuff that I would constantly buy and drink all the time. Yep. This I would in the summer, 
if you don't want that big beer aftertaste. Yep. Me and myself, I would I would agree with Mark, but I would go up a bit higher because I like IPAs, certain IPAs. I would I would give it an eight. Give it an eight. I would, yeah. Because uh, I like the Flying Monkey, even though that was a weird one for everybody. You know, everybody laughed, but uh, I actually did like it. Uh, this is tamed down from it. And again, like I've never tried saffron, but it's the first time. And you can taste the difference in it. There's something odd, but a good odd about it. Yeah. I like it. Like I said, I give it an 8 for this. Nice one again, boys. Yep. Good job, Castle Brew. We'll see you guys again. Yeah. Hankar. Yep. All right. So repeat. Mark from Denmark Bros. Oh. Oh. Good. Oh. I, I, I hope it Just turned out.